YouTube, what's poppin? It's your boy City Cheeto coming at you guys with another Exos Heroes video today. And today I'm finishing up a golem run here. And um, today's video is gonna be a um, another one of these like guide kind of videos. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you guys hit that like button as well. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Shout out to all the Exos Heroes uh, players out there and all the new players that have seen my channel and everything. So today I'm gonna be talking about efficient farming. Like, what's the best way to efficiently farm? Did I get one? No, no universe, no water of the universe for me. Ugh, man, I've been trying to farm. I, this is why I don't have any six stars. Like. <laughs> <laughs> this thing does not drop but enough about my problems let's get into the the efficient uh farming guy okay so all right i've played this game for i don't even know how long but i'll probably check it but it's been like a couple like i think about a couple weeks like two probably going on three weeks right now and um your boy here has some um your boy has uh several um dungeons and raids and things like that nature to do so what do we do uh, well first of all make sure you do all of them every day um i have some stacked up because um i can't do certain days very well other days because of the way my units are set up and that's probably going to be your situation too that you you're a beast on nature day but like when when fire day comes around you you suck you can't really beat things but that's okay just make sure you just use them all up anyway because um as of the time you're recording video we have this event this event going on right here for the core festa and with the core festa we get a fake core diva red outlaw fake core for the free uh so make sure you guys do these missions and you know try your best to get them all in before the time is over with it's gonna be kind of tough for me to finish off these missions personally because you know like like uh which one like the 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 save me drops or the the, the this assistance ones like complete broken airship that's never gonna that's, that never happens for me and i'll leave my game on all day so uh, make sure you do that. Do that to the best of your abilities and all that stuff. All right, so let's, let's go break it down. So you're probably also wondering, like, hey, like, how can I beat certain stages? Because let's go to experience, for example. Because each stage is gonna have their special stages. I explained this earlier in my uh, my quick overall uh, beginner's guide about these special stages and everything. Um, if you guys want to go check that out, link will be in the description as well as uh, hopefully I remember to put an annotation up on screen. Um, but yeah, you want to be using these special dungeons because when you, you when you can when you're finally able, I feel like um, every every count's different. But by the time you're able to get to at least chapter nine, chapter ten in the story, you should be strong enough to at least attempt to unlock. Like you can beat Maniac, and you unlock the special stages. So the special stages here um, have require special uh, units to go in and like to complete it. So first of all, you need all fire units here. So there's my all fire units here. And then you're gonna need um, two range, rare rangers that are fire and male, and that is my um, that's what these two rare guys here. Uh, I don't know their names, but I know one of them is a. Uh, I could go through their names. Gene here, and Hecken. Hecken and Gene are my uh, are the that help me fulfill the requirements of the special stage. And if you guys want to know all the uh, requirements of every special stage, I'm gonna leave in the link of the description a. Uh, this guide, a uh, blog post that I found for Exos Heroes is really, really good. I'm not claiming anything that I found. Like, I'm not claiming anything. I'm not claiming the, the blog post. I found it randomly. And um, I want to show you guys it because, you know, as a YouTuber and a guy who wants to promote content in this game, I feel like everybody should use this resource. It shows you every unit you need um, for each dungeon on each day. Today is Fire Day. Today is uh, Tuesday. Um, the time you're recording this video, it's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I had so much video to record. Um, so, yeah, um, that's basically that, so, yeah, the guide really tells you who, who to use and everything like that, um, and yeah, and the reason why you want to do special stages is because you get, first of all, you get the bonus, max rewards here, you get the bet, you get the highest drop chance of the Tome of Experience here, as well as you get the Star of Fate, Star of Fate can be used in so many things, um, uh, they're just phenomenal, um, before we go into uh, what Star of Fate does, we're just going to say the same thing. Same thing is um, true about the Spirit Sanctum. Spirit Sanctum, same thing. You, you, just, you unlock special, you unlock the special stage, and um, I can't complete it right now. But now I can. Okay? These are the units here. I can actually beat this uh, with the units I have right here. Um, believe it or not, uh, <laughs> Fake Gormagi is a beast. As well as, you know, Zeon is just a beast as well. Uh... 
so yeah this is true for every every stage um so yeah once you guys build make sure you guys uh go check out that guide build up your teams and uh get those special units like at least four star five star or if you have really good units that can like compensate for weak three star units and you don't have to like put too much investment into them i i, I recommend you do that as well um yeah um the goal is to get a team that's so good that you can just auto it um that's the goal um and if you have to manual the stages that's fine because you can only do the special stages three times uh every day so but just but if you use it's all the special stages so that's one, uh three six nine twelve uh fifteen eighteen twenty twenty here and then this makes uh well, 21, excuse me, 18, 21, uh, excuse my math for a second, I know somebody's gonna say it in the comments, your math is off, and then we have 24, that's 24 chances to get Star of the Fates, so we're gonna go to Airship real quick, and we're gonna check out what, what is the Star of Fate, right, it's one of the most, more important items in the game, um, especially if you guys, these mid to end game players here, uh, where would it be, it's in the Door of Creation, uh, wonderful animation. I love going to the door of creation and watching the animation. Um, they give you this. Go to the craft book. And it will be here. Faded equipment and other than weapon. Right here. So this gives you faded equipment like armor wise. So you get armor. Uh, faded armor from this. Um, you get a chance to get faded armor from, you got from rare. From rare, legendary to uh, faded. Um, you want to you want to farm as much star face as you can to get more faded equipment for your units. Faded equipment is so good because I, if you guys did not know this about faded equipment, if you guys are a new player, um, faded equipment gives you more guardian stones. So if we take a look at my Maggie here, um, I will go to the management here. Let's go to management. Let's go to Maggie. Maggie is my strongest unit right now. And if you guys can see, her uh, guardian stone is uh, frost uh currently which is up here i'm gonna tap in this area right here her guardian stone is frosty if she gets hit by a frost unit she's done for but with my um with uh these um faded uh these faded equipment i've got light two lights here um excuse me uh is there a way i can zoom in on this uh this gear here here it is yeah with this i get a light guardian stone so i get one more guardian stone um, and then the more legendary equipment you have, the more garden stones you get, um, as you guys can see. And then I have another frost here to protect me. So my Maggie in total has four whole guardian stones and I have room for two more, um, in these slots here. The, the, uh, the, um, the weapon slot does not give you, uh, a guardian stone, but that's okay. Cause you can actually go in with weapons here. Once you actually max out a weapon to its max potential, um, max like when you max uh, reforge it you can also do weapon awakening we're gonna do another one here uh, it's super expensive but I'm gonna do it for the video um, you get this here this uh, this equipment the five colors uh, fate stone you get that from the dragon hunting grounds but we're gonna get into that later in the video um, and you can equip weapons here and you can you know level up weapons even more uh, a lot like so now my weapon is increased to rank two uh and i lost a lot of cash <laughs> but i did it for the video so it's all good so making magi a heck of a lot stronger if you guys are paying attention to her maximum uh combat power all right so yeah that's why star phase is so important that's why farming special dungeons every day 24 chances to get um star fate which means you can get some uh hopefully you get lucky and get some uh faded equipment so we're gonna go back to the world and we're gonna talk about dragons i i've talked about dragons before again in my my more in uh my more overview for new players but um this is the this one's more focused toward intermediate players like myself uh i wish i knew this stuff when i <laughs> was uh farming it but you know i was trying to figure it out on my own but now that i have that resource it kind of opened my eyes so the holy dragon grounds here you go here you farm that you go as high as you can with the best units that you got so today's fire day so fire is going to break him in the fire and you're going to do more damage probably going to be the day you do the most damage because you guys don't under don't know what fire does uh when you break the guardian stone of a, of a unit whose guardian stone is fire you do guaranteed critical hits so this is probably going to be the most damaging run you're going to do 
um, the week because you know every every hit you do on the dragon is a crit, uh, which is really really sick. And uh, I gotta gotta go farm it myself actually. So make sure you guys do these three every day. You get the um, five color. Oh boy, what 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 is it? Reward. It's the uh, you get the five color fate fate stone as well as these um these dragon things, these relic of dragon dynasty. You can also use these to get uh, faded equipment as well. Um, you also get that faded equipment from the uh, creation grounds. Um, so yeah, um, that's basically the efficiency guide here. Um, we're just gonna do a quick overview, recap of what we just talked about. Make sure you guys do all of these, all of the special dungeons you can every day. Uh, even if you can't, if you can't beat them, it's okay. At least give them an attempt and try your best. And you guys can't beat them, you know, work every day until you can beat them at least with one team. My tip to you for that is to go for the team that you're using and have the most units for. For example, I'm going to go to my box real quick and show you what I was using at the time. I'm most comfortable with machine. I have a lot of machine units. Machine is units are like my best. I do the best on machine day. I'm going to go filter here and I'm going to machine here. Machine units, I have really good machine units. Um, I have faded units. I have really good legendary units. They're like the, my most abundant unit here, um, type-wise. And because they're my most abundant one, I work them the most. And I can clear most of the special stages with what I have right here. With this line, like with this lineup you see here, I can clear almost all of them uh, relatively easily on auto. Sometimes I have to actually manual them, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter, but you want to get it to that point to where it's on auto. Uh, so work on a team that you can do the best with, and work on several teams. If you have a lot of, of, of a bunch of different group of units, like if you have a lot of fire, a lot of nature, and a lot of um, um, a lot of machine, then on those days you can focus on doing the special dungeon, and on the other days you can work on on uh, working on the other types of units you can use to get uh, to be able to the next time they come around to be able to beat their special stages. Uh, the next thing I talked about is actually. Um, doing your holy dragon grounds doing all the other things like like pvp and everything that's just a given right but um you want to really want to start focusing on um special stages and holy dragon grounds so you can, guys can come to this um come here uh to the door of the creation and you guys want to make these faded weapons and equipment here this is this is this is what we're this is what we're after that and this we want faded equipment and faded weapons all right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys showing so much love and support. And shout out to all the new people that are coming out and watching the Sizzy Cheeto channel. Source some more Exos Heroes content. I really appreciate you. And I gotta, uh, I gotta say, um, I really enjoy this game. Um, I really enjoy making videos for it. And hopefully you guys continue to watch it. All right, guys, your boy Steve Cheeto. Sending out peace. I'll catch you all in the next video.